We'll see a state budget. It's just numbers. You know what I mean? Really, it's like, it's about that thick. <laughs> and, but every one of those line items has an enormous impact to a community or, 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 or an area of need. Every 107 seconds, another American is sexually assaulted. The FBI recognizes rape as the second most violent crime, the first of which is murder. Nearly one in five women and one in 71 men will experience rape in their lifetime. Approximately 75 to 80 percent of survivors know their perpetrator, yet 98 percent of rapists will never spend a day in jail. Most survivors experience sexual violence at the hands of someone they know and trust, and oftentimes it's someone that they care very deeply about. I've heard countless survivors talk about um, experiencing ongoing harassment and stalking and intimidation from their perpetrator after a sexual assault has happened. It's also making sure that we're protecting those who are, who, who, who are victims, <clears throat> preventing them to continuously become victimized over and over and over again. This is something that we certainly can all feel very good and proud, and it's a matter of fairness. It's a matter of doing the right thing, and New Jersey certainly is moving in that direction. This is important to get the message out. It's important for people to understand that their state budget does a lot of things. It's just not a black hole where money goes away. And government has a role.